This is going to be a really quick tutorial showing you how to use the inspect element feature inside of Google Chrome to do live updates to the CSS on your subreddit. Uh, it makes editing the, the CSS really quick and easy. Um, I'm just going to assume that for the sake of this that you know how to do CSS already and not going to teach you all that. You can go to w3schools.com to learn that stuff on your own. Um, so we'll get started here. Uh, first thing you need to know is that if you go to any subreddit, and add at the end of it slash stylesheet.css, they'll show you the custom code that was created for the styles of that specific subreddit. So if you see anything that you want to know how to do on some other subreddit, you can go to slash style CSS to uh, see exactly what they use to create that. You can just effectively copy that um, and steal their entire style sheet. Um, so we're going to show you this real quick. It's simple and it's fast and I use it constantly. Um, for example, let's say we want to change this light blue background here in the header. Right click on it, go to inspect element, and this little panel will show up. If it doesn't show up docked, there's a little button down here to dock and undock this window. Um, as you glide up and down the code here, it highlights whatever you're over top of. So this is highlighting the bottom part of the page. This is just your username and mail. Uh, there's the entire header, and there's the top above that. So this is what we want to edit, the header bottom left, and it's an ID. That's all you need to remember is that it's an ID. Double click on that, copy, go to resources, and you'll see we have frames, the name of the subreddit, and there's style sheets, and then stylesheet.css, which we just looked at a moment ago. Except the difference is now we can edit it. So if you double click inside of this window, and we'll just go to the very bottom and add a couple of lines here. We'll put it in a pound since it was an ID. Paste that in, we just copied some curly brackets, and we'll do background dash color, and we'll just make it a gray tone. And you saw that the background color up there changed instantaneously. The moment I typed in the uh, the color value, it automatically changed. So it's very helpful to see things happen in real time whenever you're making edits and adjustments. Um, another example, while you're over here doing this, you want to change something else, like make the downvote hidden. Right click on it, and then go to inspect element. It'll take your right to it in the code. There it is. And we see that it, this is the, the class of it is arrow. It also has a class of down and a class of login required. So I'm just going to double click that, copy all three, come back to resources, and just add in a couple of returns here. And we'll put in uh, dots between each one, which means that I'm targeting only objects in the page that have all three of those classes applied to them. And we'll just say display none. There we go. And now they're all hidden. So they disappeared off the page. Uh, this only affects your computer in, in this session while you're watching. If I refresh this page, all that code will disappear. So whenever you're all finished and you like what you've done, uh, select the stuff you wrote, copy it, and then go to uh, about slash style sheet, this page here and then just paste it in at the bottom and hit save. And that's pretty much it. And uh, that's a much better way than I've seen people who just type in stuff in here and hit preview and preview and preview and save and then have to go back to the page and look at stuff and it gets messed up while people are using the subreddit. That's just bad. Just you use the inspect element. It's much quicker and simpler. Um, the only issue you run into is that it shows you the full wealth of what Chrome is capable of. And that includes things that are restricted within Reddit style sheets. So if you're trying to do some CSS3 stuff, it'll let you do it in the inspect element. But when you go to save it in here, it won't work. So that's just stuff that you have to work around. That's, that's all normal. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So try it out. Try out the uh, inspect element.